Yeah, diagnosis doesn't mean anything. Because anybody can figure anything out on their own, especially now with the internet. I mean, I was diagnosed with bipolar disorder when I was in, I, I don't know if it was like freshman year or high school, I really don't remember, it's all blur. But they told me that I was bipolar and I looked that shit up because uh, I had the internet at my house. I had it on a computer. How cool is that? Still do. It's on a laptop in my house. I don't have a smartphone because I'm smarter than Western civilization. It doesn't mind the mark of the beast. But anyway, I... Oh shit, it's raining. I was like, what's that sound? <laughs> Raindrops. Okay, hold on a second. We're going to close the window. Um, yeah, so... I went home and I looked this up on my own. I looked up bipolar disorder. And I was like, man, I have these symptoms, but it just seems more complicated. And I kept looking stuff up. And I discovered borderline personality. And I said, man, this seems like it suits me a lot more. Now this had a lot to do with my abandonment issues. I was aware enough of myself to know that I freaked out at either real or imagined abandonment, mainly imagined abandonment. Uh, the reason why borderline personality is in the same cluster as narcissistic personality is if, like, you know, narcissists, whenever they experience what is known as narcissistic injury, what happens is whenever you criticize them, or they, it's either real or imagined criticism, they overreact. It's the same thing with borderline personality where whenever they perceive either real or imagined abandonment, they overreact. So that's why they're both in the same cluster because their emotional responses are equally erratic and ridiculous. Oh shit, we got undercover. Please don't run over the curb again. You almost did. Yeah, I almost ran over the curb again. Shit, that's like two undercover cops over there. I wonder what they're doing. Gas prices are going up. Food cost is going up. When I went to the Hermitage Cafe, there was like a sign on the door that said food cost is up, so expect to pay more. Isn't this awesome? I'm not going to say, oh, this is Joe Biden's America. Uh -huh. No, this is, this is the Jew Suits America. The Jew Suits minus the W. Burn down the house, right? cool we pulled up right at this time <laughs> right I feel like the whole point of making it seem like America was the superpower was to like bring America all the way up just to take it right back down eventually because it's always been a lie I feel sorry for people that haven't seen that now I've, I've definitely been on various sides of that as you've probably seen in my previous channels you know I've I've felt a lot of different ways about the president and about politics but I came back to my general consensus of uh, fuck everything they talk about fuck all of it everybody's full of shit everybody's a liar the media has always been bad that had very little to do with Donald Trump he was just the only president that pointed that shit out which I guess in a way made him more reliable than all the other presidents, but at the same time, it's like, well, what did he do about it? Absolutely nothing. Now he's finally trying to do something about, like, tech censorship, but it's like, yeah, because of him, it has nothing to do with all the 
people that have been censored because of him, all of his supporters, he just threw under the bus, and his supporters are so fucking stupid, they're like, come back, Greyhound, we love you. Anyway, gotta get some gas, some overpriced gasoline. Hey, at least we still got gas here, right?